Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a four digit number and tens using the vertical format. Let's begin with our first example. What is 2471 minus 50. 2,471 minus 50. Now this one is very simple. Let's label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. As always, we start on the right-hand side first. The units column. The units, we've got 1 minus 0, the answer is 1. Now, whilst I'm showing you the workings in yellow at the bottom, that's just me explaining what you need to do. Once you develop a bit of speed on this, you won't need to do any workings and just answer the question. Okay? So this is just me showing you what I'm doing. The tens, we've got 7 minus 5. 7 minus 5 is... 2. We've got the hundreds column. We've got 4 minus 0. The answer is 4. And lastly, we have the thousands column. 2 minus 0. The answer is 2. Therefore, the answer is 2,421. It's a nice easy one to begin with. Okay, let's move on to our second example. We have 9,322 minus 60. Nine thousand three hundred and twenty-two minus 60. To explain what I'm doing, I'm going to label the columns units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to do the subtraction. Check the sign. Okay, we start as always on the right hand side, the units column. We've got 2 minus 0. The answer is 2. Next, we have the tens column. We've got 2 minus 6. Well, that's something we cannot do because 2 is less than 6. Now, you know the routine by now. What we're going to do is we're going to take one from the hundreds to the left. Okay, so we're going to cross out the three. Three minus one is two. And the one we have taken from there, we're going to add it to the tens column. So therefore, the tens has now become 12 minus six. It's no longer two minus six. It is 12 minus six. And 12 minus six is six. So we can write that down. Next, we've got the hundreds column. We've got 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. Lastly, we have the thousands column. We've got 9 minus 0. 9 minus 0 is 9. Therefore, the answer to the question is 9,262. Okay, again, it was nice and simple. We're going to look at one more example. This time we've got 6,043 minus 90. 6,043 minus 90. Now the first step, I'm going to label the columns. We've got units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We are now ready to do the subtraction. Always check the sign. And as always, we start on the right-hand side first. So the units, we have 3 minus 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. Now, the tens column. We've got 4 minus 9. Let's write that down. 4 minus 9. 
Now, 4 minus 9 is something we cannot do because 4 is smaller than 9. So what we have to do is we have to take 1 from the column on the left, the hundreds column. But hold on, the hundreds column is 0. So we cannot do that. We need to go further to the left to the thousands column. Well, in the thousands column, we've got 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross out the 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. Now, the 1 we have taken from there, we're going to add it to the hundreds column. So the hundreds column is now 10. We're going to cross out the 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. And the 1 we have taken from there, we're going to move across to the tens column. So the tens column has now become 14 minus 9. Not 4 minus 9, but 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9 is 5. So let's write that down. The tens column, 14 minus 9 is 5. The hundreds column, we've got 9 hundreds minus 0. So that remains 9. And how about the thousands column? We've got 5 thousands minus 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. Therefore, the answer to our question is 5,953. So that is how we do subtraction of a four-digit number and tens using the vertical format.